players and the new looks down there. How do you evaluate that team? Well, first games, you never really know what to expect, but they do have a lot of familiarity on offense. There'll be a lot of guys um, that contributed for them last year that'll be back this year. Um, and in the first game of the season, them and us alike, those are the guys you're going to lean on um, because it's hard to just expect a guy that's not played in a college football game to just run out there and, and perform at a high level. So um, we, we know uh, the who they have from watching them play last year. I expect them. I know they've made some changes in their strength program, and I expect that to um, change the look and the feel of their team. Uh, we expect a, a, a much improved version from, from what we saw a year ago. What Regardless, can you take, uh, if anything, from playing against them last year at Louisiana Tech. Yeah, I mean, there's there's um, familiarity, which means that they have also familiarity with us. Um, so certainly, we've been able to study the Mississippi State game last year and the Louisiana Tech game last year. And, and obviously, schematically, there's not dramatic changes in terms of both. Um, but that being said, it's still trying to you're still trying to cater to the personnel that you have at any given time. So we've got to do what suits our needs best now, which is the same thing that they have to do offensively. Jumping on Logan's question, you've seen Todd Munkin's offense three of the last four years being at Texas when he was at Oklahoma State. So you have familiarity with him, don't you? I do, and, and, and I think I think he's an outstanding offensive coach. And when you watch, when you watch their whole season last year as a whole, um, this is sometimes hard for the fan to see. They, they've got a great scheme. They've got a great system. Uh, they've got guys open. There, there's... You know, there's probably every game they had. They had a guy behind us twice last year in the Louisiana Tech game. There's probably every game where they're behind the other team's defense for a touchdown, and the ball maybe is overthrown by six inches, underthrown by six inches. They're just their execution is just off. So it's not what they're doing that's the issue. So to me, I'm you know, and and, and a guy like Chip Lindsey, who's also a very good coach, um, you know, sort of comes out of more of the Malzahn type type system. So they. They're not, they're not devoid of ideas. They know what they're doing, and, and you can see it. It's just a matter of, of the hardest thing in this profession is being persistent, understand that you're doing the right things, and, and you either you know, continue to develop the players that you have or you bring in new players that can execute what you're, what you're doing better. So uh, uh, I think they've, they've set themselves in a position to have a really good season, and, and, and we believe that we'll have a heck of a challenge Saturday night. Their, their depth chart has a lot of oars with the quarterbacks and the running backs. At, at this point for an opening game, do you even really concern yourself with who's going to play for them and just focus on yourself, or how does that work? Yeah, that's, to... that's become the neatest thing in America now. I mean, to me, preseason All-American should be <laughs> or because it's it's everywhere, you know what I mean? He, he, or is a heck of a player. Um, <laughs> it doesn't really matter because ultimately they have to do what they can do. Um, they've got to run their offense. Uh, we've got to run our defense. And I don't think that while – the different backs may have different strengths and weaknesses, and, and maybe the quarterbacks do as well. You still have to put in your system uh, to run it the way you want to. So um, we'll get Brady the best we can from what we expect them to do, and, and I'm sure they will for us. And, and again, which guys in the game, you know, we will adjust accordingly. You mentioned having three different stops against Todd Monk. And I mean, does that factor into your game plan at all? Are there some tendencies you've shown in the past that maybe you look to hide in a situation like this? Yeah, but then you can also outsmart yourself. You know, I mean, you can start to say, well, we did this and this worked and, you know, should we do something else or um, there's no doubt that it gives you um, it gives you a good sort of baseline point to study in terms of what you would have done differently. Because after every game, you always critique yourself. If you had to play it again tomorrow, what would you have done differently? Uh, but at the same point, we, we have a different team. You know, I mean, this is this will be the third different team that um, that I've traveled to play with. And, and so we know all those teams had different strengths and weaknesses. So. Again, like I mentioned, we have to do what we do best uh, to play against us. We know that he'll do a good job of asking us questions of our defense. So our concern is making sure that we're sound, we're, we're, we're gap sound versus the run, um, we're cover sound versus the pass, we're on top of all their routes vertically, and uh, and go from there. I think you 